record? Yeah, let's record. Okay, hi everybody. Sorry about the technical difficulties at the start, but I think we are there. So on the webinar tonight, we've got loads of people on tonight. So introducing me, Mike, hi everybody. And then we've got Jackie, say hi Jackie. Hi everyone, hi, hi. And then we've yep. also got another lady called Fatima, say hi Fatima. Hello everyone. Hi Fatima, and also we've got another. Hi. We've also got another. Hello. We've also got another superstar, Jane. Say hi, Jane. Hi everyone. Cool. Hi. So let's let's uh, kick off with the first slide. So first, introducing Miss uh, Jane Taylor, and she's going to tell you a little bit about um, a few bits and bobs. So over to you, Jane. Oh, that's a lovely picture. <laughs> How nice, Mike. <laughs> Wherever did you find that from, Mike? Oh. <laughs> that's Hi, gorgeous. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great to be on the webinar tonight. And I've been asked just to give you a, um, a few sort of tips on recruiting and where I find my new recruits from. And... Um, Essentially, um, everywhere that you sort of um, happen to be in your everyday life, there are recruits. My favourite way of recruiting is what I call R and R, which is actually um, referrals from referrals. So, um, just sort of, um, perhaps it would be good if I talked you through um, the latest recruit that I, uh, lady that I recruited today was actually someone that I was um, speaking to a couple of days ago and um, I'd just gone out to meet some friends and I was actually talking to my friend and um, she'd actually made some comments about the lipstick that I was wearing and I of course said it was one of our Flame's new colours and um, she sort of um, asked a friend to come over and then I started talking about Oriflame and she was really, really interested and, um, and there and then we put a date in the diary to go for a coffee so I could explain more to her. Um, that's what I did today and um, just basically went through the opportunity with her. What I did try to find out is um, a little bit more about her. So I just um, started off by asking her um, to tell me a little bit about herself. And that's what she did. And then it, it was easier then for me to find out what she was looking for, whether she was just looking to earn a little bit of extra cash or whether she was looking to earn considerably more. Um, in this instance, she said that she did want to earn considerably more, and so I was able to go through the opportunity with her using our um, opportunity folder. Um, when you are recruiting um, new people, um, it's essentially the same sort of um, uh, procedure whether you're recruiting face to face or whether you're recruiting online. I know a lot of people do a lot of online recruiting nowadays and that is really, really um, successful. But the main thing to do is to remember that contact is vital and it's the initial first few days when you come into contact with um, these new people that are the most important. I always make sure that whether it's somebody who's come direct from myself or whether it's a referral from a referral, that I contact them in the first instance as soon as possible. Um, if it's possible to meet up with them, then I like to do that within the first couple of days. Um, if not, um, then certainly give them a call within 24 hours uh, to go through things with them. Um, and then in the first three days, I make sure I contact them every day just to see how things are going. Um, then that way, if there's a problem, if they're not um, somehow managing to, uh, to speak to people or whatever the problem may be, that way um, you are getting there right at the beginning and can help them to sort that out. Um, what I do then is I, um, I talk them through the welcome program and we just essentially concentrate to start with on getting their own order um, placed 
Um, their first £130 were so that they can get their, their what they're in with the welcome program, they can get their free gift and that they can earn some money straight away. When they place a £130 order, they're going to earn £39 straight away. So it's good for them because they can see that they are actually earning some money. Um, after that, then um, I make sure that I stay in contact with them after the first three days, then it's every couple of days, and then always I keep in touch with my, um, my consultants every week. I think the main thing to remember is that it's that contact that is vitally important. Absolutely fab, Jane. So. Are you there still, Jane? Yeah, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So really, that that that's the most important thing to you. And obviously, I know I know that you do your your contact list. You know, n names of people that you know. And I also know that you give them little challenges, don't you, in the first couple of days? Absolutely, absolutely yes, absolutely. Um, especially sort of when you're coming into the second and third week of the catalogues, maybe the third uh, catalogue more so, people, if you're not careful, will tend to think, oh, well, I'll start on the next catalogue if there's only a few days. But um, r really, I mean, my, my record is for somebody to bring in £224 worth of orders in the tw first 24 hours. Um, wow, it's just, that's yeah, amazing. It's, yeah. it's, it's important that they um, we go through a name list um, straight away and we go through who they can show that brochure to within the first 24 hours. If it's the last few days, then who can you show that brochure to within the next few hours? Not forgetting, of course, that we can also show the e-catalogue and get a lot of orders through um, through that way. You don't actually have to physically show the catalogue to people um, you know, when they have got the internet access. Brilliant. And I, and, I, and I know I'm right in saying that you were just as um intense if you like with your new people whether they're online or offline I know today you were uh, offline weren't you yeah. uh, today, just as... um, yes today was a fa face to face which is great but of course that's not always possible and a lot of people um, are very successful in building their teams online again um, I would actually say for for people that I do recruit online and for the leads um, that I get through online that the contact is even more important um, to, yeah. to contact them constantly in those first few days. Can't stress it enough and it, it does work. I mean you get people, if people don't, I mean what I would do if people don't pick up which is um, I always try to telephone them first. Um, people lead busy lives, they can't always pick up straight away but I always phone four times. If I haven't managed to get hold of anybody within four times then I will send them a text and then if they still don't reply to a text I then send them an email. So as you can see I, I do rely a lot on this contact. contact. I do think it's, um, yeah. it's really really important. And you know something Jane, I think people like to be given a guide of what we want them to do. You know, to get the expectations, like yes. show the catalog to five people today, and then when you ring them back, how did that go? Brilliant. Okay, let's do the next five. And I think they like to be in like a, a structure, don't they? So they know what they're doing. And I you, know that. You, Sorry, Jackie. You usually when at that first contact, I will ask them what they are what they are looking for, and they will usually say one of three things: want to earn a little bit of extra cash. Or they're looking. To, if they say that they're looking to earn considerably more, then straight away I go into okay. Well, what we need to do is we need to get you a team together. So we, we need to get you your ten people, and we go straight into that. Let's get you um, your team of ten people. Let's get you as a group manager, which is the first rung of our, um, our leadership sort of structure, and we can build on it from there. And it's very, it's very possible to do that in the first catalog. If people are, you know, are really wanting to do it, then they will find those people and they will do that as to, in in their first catalog. And, and just quickly, Jane, I think what happens with the, everybody that keeps posting, 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 I think that's brilliant. But we do sometimes miss out the direct people that you can actually go and see, like that girl today with you, Jane, you, you met her on Saturday and you're seeing her today and that mm -hmm. was from your, your list of people that you know, you know, no posting. So I think we all know so yeah. many people 
and mm -hmm. referrals. You know, who do you know that would like to earn some extra money? And she was only I commenting on the lipstick. Really, yeah, really important. Uh, like I said, you know, I call it my R and R referrals from referrals because when you're talking to to someone, I will just say to them, um, "Who do you know who would like to earn a bit of extra cash?" And um, most people can think of somebody, oh, you know, oh, well, my friend so-and-so, or, oh, I was only talking to um, someone yesterday. And then I just um, ask them, uh, I think it's important to say, you know, um, oh, I'd love to get in contact with them. Have you got their number? Would you mind just giving them a quick uh, call just to say I will be contacting them? And um, and I do still find that that's one of the most effective ways of building your team by referrals. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for that, Jane. And I know that she, Jane does actually ten new personal recruits on a constant at every catalogue. So well done to Jane, and thank you for those amazing, very valuable tips. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thanks, Jane. Thanks. So moving swiftly along, um, we've got Fatima. Fatima, are you there? I am, Mike. I'm here. Cool, cool. So Fatima, she told me a story that um, that she did. So do you want to tell us about your story that um, to help you get some sales, Fatima? Um, okay, this Mike. Catalog. I was invited for a birthday party breakfast in a coffee shop um, last Saturday. Okay. We were like 12 uh, friends. We went there to have breakfast and uh, to sing happy birthday to my friends. So um, before we take pictures, I gave the idea of putting lipstick on. So I had a couple of samples. They like it and they finished and they put the, the lipsticks on. They loved that. And I finished my party with 200 uh, pounds of sales. Lipstick oh. and uh, skin care. Um, it was quite fun. We spent like three hours in there. We took our kids with us. It was so, so lovely. Um, that, that, I will do, that's I will do it more so then, often. Because, yeah, so the moral of the story is always make sure that you're carrying a few lipsticks in your bag or a few Oroflame products. Don't forget the catalogs because I then I started giving the catalogs and they ordered from that. And you know, when people order one, the next one will do the same. Okay. So I think it's the best way. When you have a group of people, you have sales. Cool. Always. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Fatima, Fatima, how did you turn it from the lipstick then to the skincare? Uh, because uh, how? They, how? they started putting the lipstick. Then I said, ladies, don't forget the skin care. If you buy the day cream, you get the night cream uh, only one pound. Wow, you see, that's amazing, yeah. And then people said, I, I would like to get the uh, eye cream. They said, wow, if you buy the, the, the eye cream, you get the CC cream for only two pounds and that's wow. the way which helped mm. me selling people yeah, just oh, that's... wanted the day cream Jackie but yeah. if the night cream is only one pound what can I do I will take it anyway <laughs> yeah oh, that's fantastic that's absolutely super so really you start off with one thing and then you you know have a look at this and and I think you're there aren't you fabulous Definitely. I, I had some perfume samples as well. Um, I know these friends and um, I made some new customers as well from other tables, not just a table. Mm. How did you do that then? Did you know them? No, but because we are Portuguese, I went to one table to another one because we did so much noise. We oh, love yeah. <laughs> and people were looking at us and I said oh don't you want a catalog have a look you might like it <laughs> yeah and oh that's really lovely they Ooh. ordered from me and and I left the party with 200 pounds of sales happy wow day. fantastic and happy happy days for the people I bet they loved it too yeah yes they loved, yes 
because you know okay, one person one person say oh i love this lipstick they are very very good that the other person when he hears that they they trust the friend and said oh, oh i'm going to buy it anyway definitely i Fatima, think that's gorgeous Fatima, what are you doing on saturday oh we are going to do a picnic in Vauxhall park Everyone who won the, the basket, picnic basket, will take it. We take the kids, we invited some friends, and we are going to take balloons and make some games and try to recruit from the, the baskets and from everyone who is going to be in the park, especially mums. Wow. Yeah, that's fab. You're going to speak to pit strangers like, and say, actually, would you like to join us and show them the, the basket with the pit? Are you going to put products in the basket? We will, yes. And yeah, food as yeah. well, and wine. And food. Oh, wine. Oh, like an <laughs> item. It's so easy because I believe people will love the picnic basket and they will ask us. And uh, to be honest, when we are all together, it's quite a shame to do so much noise. We laugh a lot. Everyone looks at us. So it's easy for us to go to these uh, people and start a conversation. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, so the moral of the story is that if you want to go out recruiting out, and go with some friends, go have some fun. And when you're having fun, you, you, you find that you become more relaxed and you, it's easy for you to talk about the products and either gain those new customers or, or gain those new uh, consultants. It's all about looking good, having fun and making money, of course. But um, Fatima, her team is such a bubbly team in, in uh, South London, um, Portuguese team. Absolutely fab. She always has fun. Always. Doesn't matter where she is. She always recruits and sells. Doesn't matter if she's in the nightclub. It doesn't matter if she's taking her, her kids to, the, to school. She's always having fun and, and talking to everybody. And I think you're amazing, Fatima. Absolutely amazing. That's true, Mike. But I think, Mike, Mike, I think that's really good because Jane and Fatima, you know, that's what they're both recruiting as well on offline uh and i think sometimes when we're busy posting we do tend to sometimes forget the people directly next to us and or even people like neighbors and and when you ask people what they do it's absolutely amazing when they tell you you think oh my god you know they could be really good at, at what we do so you know start asking more about people what do they do definitely because i think that leads you anyway to recruiting them definitely most <laughs> Cool. So thank you very much, Fatima. Really, really enjoyed listening to you. Um, um, you the next kind of little thing is, is a, it's a little bit about me, actually. This funny thing here is called, it's called Monkey. It's called, it's actually a computer program and it's called MailChimp. Okay. And MailChimp is a program that you can join for free. So if you've got your pen and paper there, um, write it down, MailChimp.com. You go to those to that website, and you can sign up um, for the service, which is absolutely free for I think it's for about a thousand people. And you can add all your friends' email addresses onto this um, onto this program. Okay. Then what you can do is you can um, what's the word? You can send them newsletters. Okay, about the products. And I'll, I'll give you a few tips in a minute about how you send newsletters and things like that. But I've, I actually made a video about how you use um, email clients. Okay, this is MailChimp. There's loads of different ones on the market. Some are free, some are, some that you're paid for. Some do good things, some do not so good. Some post on social media. They do all sorts of things. But this is a free one for everybody to have a go with. And it's an absolute gold mine. And why I say it's a gold mine is this is what uh, myself and Annette use when we are contacting customers, we write newsletters and we send out newsletters about our products. And um, once we sent an email, we probably afterwards, we'll probably end up with anything from 500, 500 pounds to a thousand pounds worth of orders, just by writing a newsletter and sending it to our customers. Okay, so that's an email, that's MailChimp. Okay. Some people, how, you know, if you want to find new customers or new email addresses, what we do is we, we have, myself and Annette have blogs. We also have it on our Facebook pages. And this is basically, it's a, a little kind of caption that you can put there. And that's using this one, um, free cosmetics, save money on your skincare and cosmetics. Yeah. Give us your email and your name. Okay. And 
that's how you build up your list okay so it's always going back to that list all right and that's probably got about last count i think uh 37,000 people on her list that's right wow. mm. on her email list so what she does is she she captures their details and she sends them all the different offers okay the next thing that she does is that she writes a newsletter now these are just kind of templates that you can pull off um these male clients like mailchimp there's eye contact there's loads of different ones but what content do you actually put in there so i hope everybody's got a catalog next to them have you got a catalog next to you jackie yes i have i have yes okay so what what i want you to do yeah. jackie i want you to go to page let's have a look page 30 of the current right. yeah i got it okay and what does it say yeah. on, what does it say there it says personal care yeah no matter which look you prefer or how much time you have hair x styling products keep you ahead of the game yeah okay and then it's got did you know and they got a little bit of a blurb about did you know and then it's got great styling made easy yeah and then invest in the hairbrush yeah so a lot of bit yeah. of bit of blurb there for you and tells you why you should do that then on the right and then on page 31 you've got all the products yeah so mm. that is one newsletter so annette would send that out as one newsletter and she does that one a week okay so she goes through the current catalog and she she picks up all that blurb now if you download the pdf you've got all the words there so you don't have to you can just copy the words you don't have to type it all out okay and she puts it into a mail client writes it all out puts all the different products on there with the link to her e-catalog so constantly all the links to her e-catalog so and telling them to look on page 31 yeah for that specific offer and when she does that um she will get um sales so that's an, one example so another example jackie i want you to look at is yeah page, yeah i've got one i hope everybody's got a catalog okay yeah uh page 46 yeah i got that one mike yeah so, and i like this one because it says yeah. yeah did you know that most wrinkles stem from sun exposure and lack of moisture so anti-aging should start at a young age with regular application of sunscreens and moisturizers in corporate prevention products at your mid-20s and after 30 you start addressing your specific skin needs uh, and visible signs of aging so whether it you know whatever your needs are yeah, yeah. so i like that yeah so that tells you all about skincare so she'll send out an email all about skincare she sent that email out she got th she sold three packs three sets Great, fab. okay just by sending out that yeah. uh, what's that 240 pounds yeah, yeah. The, what, three three Nav three navage uh three. the uh lift the lift one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so there we go um, okay here's another offer yeah. for you jackie have a have a look on page 62 62 yeah yeah what that fragrance yeah. Fragrance from, from the ocean's infinite depths, the spellbinding fragrance of blue wonders transports you to underwater paradise where anything is possible. Okay, mm. so that's all, that's all your headings, that's all your different blurbs. So if you've got a catalogue and you can have a look for yourself. So that's all your different blurbs and things that she sends out. Don't forget to put the links to your e-catalogue under each product. Okay. All right, and she sends those out to her customers. Okay, and she sends the pictures, yeah? The pictures. Yeah, all the pictures. It's, it's, you know, a lot of people put a lot of these pictures on Facebook, but why don't you write a story and send them to your customers that actually have bought from you? So one yeah. tip I would always say is that if you've got a customer that has bought from you, keep hold of their details. Yeah, not just their address and their name, but their telephone number, their mobile number, and also their email address because it's, it's vital, important information okay um that you can use time and time again because you know they like the products because they bought it okay mm. here's one for the blokes for you jackie have a look on page 72. 72. yeah for him That's did right. you know that flamboyant eau de toilette is a genuine success story in oriflame's 45 year history it sold more than 300,000 in the first three weeks of release wow yeah Flamboy, and it just t tells you, you know, who is he, a little bit about him, who's him with confidence, perfumers, inspiration. It's yeah. really interesting, and, and you know, when you when you actually separate it from the whole of the catalogue, it's really interesting reading, isn't it, Mike? It is, it is. But you've got to do it in short, sharp, 
blocks, yeah. you know, and and also you know you, you've got there you buy the you buy the um, deodorant, sorry the um, the aftershave, but you get the free deodorant, you know, yeah. another yeah, great offer. Cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, I've got another one for you for those really really healthy people that like wellness. How about seventy eight, page seventy eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got that one. Yeah. Did you know about the? Did you know? Yeah. Yeah, tells you all about it. Okay. It. You see, it's, yeah. it's headed in captions that you've really got there that you can really use. Okay, and send mm. out a newsletter to people. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can and, say yeah. Yeah. And my final one. Okay, what about page eighty-four, Jackie? Makeup and 84. trends. Yeah, yeah, got that one. Yeah. Yes. Did you know that makeup makeup has the power to change the whole perception of you? Independent research says it can make you look younger than you actually are or add on a several years, whichever you want. It can create the assumption that you are fun and outgoing, confident and intelligent on the basis of your lipstick or eyeshadow. That's so interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so there you go. There's another heading, and if you want another heading, you can look it up, girls. There's another one that we can do here that you, if you want to get creative, okay, is that maybe page 112. How about putting a look together for somebody? And there's like three or four products there that you can use and send out as a, um, you know, as an email to to your uh, customers. Customers love this kind of stuff because why? Because it gives them value. It teaches them something new. You've just gone, wow, wow, wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Guess what? Your customers don't know that either. And by them reading this, they'll buy it. Trust me. That's why Annette does. That's why she's one of the top sellers in the in the company. You know, mm. because she gives them. And she does one a week. Yeah, at least one a week. At least customers. one a week. Yeah, but the most mm. secret thing is to keep on adding to your name bank. A bit like referrals, like Jane kept on talking about. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, and you know things. Did you want to? Did you want discount on your cosmetics? Yeah, give me an email address and I'll send you information how you can get discount on your cosmetics. You know, find an offer that that way in. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's an idea for you to use. Um, for your customers and not and let's be honest with us you know we can't always get around to all our customers yeah but we can do an email and send it to them yeah, yeah. and I think it's so good Mike because as I say you can so easily recruit those people as well because people do love that personal touch definitely definitely you know so that's and also I, I, yeah cool. I liked what you were saying as well about Annette uh, when early in the catalog it was selling was a little bit slower Mm -hmm. So she started speaking. Are you there, Mike? Yeah. Mike? Yeah. And yeah. she so she started to, speaking to people about, uh, oh my God, have you seen the bronzing pearls for two quid yeah. when you buy a lipstick? Just like Fatima was doing. Yeah. Because, oh my God, how can anybody refuse? Like somebody wanted to buy um, a night cream uh, and, and get the day cream for a quid. You know, they will, they will buy, they want to buy these offers, are phenomenal, aren't they? They are, and the secret that that we've been that I've been saying, and what Fatima's been saying, okay, and also Jane is, if you don't show your catalog to your customers, you're not going to get the sales that you want. So if you're not showing enough people, or if you haven't got enough sales, it's because you're not showing it. You're not showing the catalog to enough people. So you've got to keep mm -hmm. on showing people the catalog and giving them the offers and all the different offers because there's lots of customers out there, lots. And, and look what Jane said about um, somebody doing 220 quid in one day, Mike, you know, yeah. starting like a, a couple of days before the end of the catalogue. And it's all about giving people a, a, a little bit of selling techniques as well, isn't it? And, you know, uh, we're just saying actually, just like Fatima was doing, when you buy that for a pound, it, all you've got to do is buy a day cream. I was looking at the time reversing, you know, uh, you can get the serum for a pound when you buy the day cream. Yeah. And, I mean, they're just such good offers. Who could actually not not have them? It's yeah, amazing. And, and just to kind of another kind of little helps for you. How about go to the Oroflame website on the beauty on the beauty edit? There's all these words and all these images. Okay, turn them into an email to your customers with your links to your e-catalog. That will help you get sales as well. So all the information is there for you. It's just getting it in front of your customers or share the links onto your Facebook groups and things like that. 
because it does help. Yeah. You know, it does. And help. also, I think it does. And also, like like Jane said as well, talk to your new starts, get to know them a little bit. You know, ask them a little bit about what do they do. Um, it's really interesting when you and people like you when you're genuinely interested in them. Uh, and, and also, as I say, you can get people to do that 130 quid in a day if you know a little bit about them and, and give them a few selling techniques. You know, to all these one pound and two pound offers, I think they're fabulous. Definitely. Uh, and then there's sort of what you've just said, Mike, about posting newsletters to customers that can turn to recruits as well or stay as customers, whatever. I think people do love that personal touch. Definitely. Now, J Jackie, you know, if you don't want to do, if you don't want to do email lists, what about text? Okay. Yeah, I like text as well. There's companies out there that that you know that do text. Yes, you've got to pay for them. Sometimes they're free, sometimes they don't. I'll give you a little tip. If you've got a mobile phone, create groups of people on your mobile phone. So these are my customer group. Okay. This is my customer group. Great, create groups on your mobile phone. That's a free way because most people have texts included. And then you can send text en masse, okay? But if you don't want to do that and you want a company, there's companies out there to do that. Now, I quickly, well, just before the webinar started, okay, I said to one of the other regional managers, Yvonne, I said, Yvonne, Yvonne, you're the queen of texts, okay? Because that's what she uses, just texts. I asked her to give us a quick message to send to her customers. This is what she's been sending. Yeah, so this is a text that she's been using and she said that she's doing very, very well on it. It's in euros. Don't miss wow, it. Wow, she's just put all those products. That's just amazing. Yeah. And okay. then she sent the link, has she? Yeah. Oh, I like that, Mike. I want that. Yeah. So that's because we can we can can we just can we have that Mike so we can just change that into pounds? Yeah, definitely. Of course we can. Just just make sure you put your e catalog at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. The link on yeah. there, and then copy it, and then if you've got groups of customers or even consultants, then you can start texting them this. You know. So um, how Mike? Will you what are you going to are you going to post that to us separate now in a minute? Or I'll, put it up on your, I'll put it up on your wall. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that's really good because, you know, they read text and when they see all that, they'll think, wow, bronzing pearls are quid, uh, you know, and all those fabulous things. I, I like that. I like it, yeah. Okay, so that's, cool. a, that's, yeah. that's a different way how you can, you can um, mm. get hold of your customers, okay? Because if you haven't got hold of your customers and haven't told them about the offers, I, I tell you what, Jackie, I'd be pretty annoyed Okay, if, if you missed it, yeah, yeah, if I miss my bronzing pills for a pound, I know it says two, two euros 45, but that's how much it is. In, yeah, um, yeah, it's a pound to us. I mean, you've got you'd be gutted, wouldn't you? I yeah. mean, you know, customers, I don't think we should decide when they buy and when they don't buy. What we have to do is show them the catalog every time and they can choose themselves, can't they? Definitely, definitely. Whether they want to buy. Mike, I so like this here, what Yvonne's done. That will you can you when you know when you do it, can you put the uh, our link of our catalogue on it? So all I've got to do is copy Everyb and paste everybody, it. Yeah? Every, everybody's e catalogue is different. Okay? Oh, okay. Everybody's okay. e catalogue is different. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Okay. Right. Well, I think that's really good. I like that. Yep. Cool. So that's yep. a little bit about sending a, a email to people and also how to send a text to people. And also Jane recapped about she goes face to face and she asks for referrals. And Fatima has lots of fun, uh, makes lots of noise, and she attracts customers because they want to be part of that fun. Um, and that's end of our webinar. Anything you want to add, Jackie? Well, yeah, I think it's an amazing catalogue. Like you say, make sure we contact all of our customers and all of our new recruits so to make sure that they know, you know, that text, what you've just done with Yvonne and uh, all the other things you've said about the email to customers and to consultants. I love all of that. Make sure that everybody and everybody gets those towels because they're absolutely awesome. Those bath towels, they're so big, aren't they? They're huge. They're huge, they're huge. And make sure that long-standing consultants, uh, make sure they've signed that, um, you know, the, uh, what is it, Mike? Yeah, the, 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 new, sign. Everybody's got yeah, the new terms, terms and conditions. 
yeah, sure. yeah. And that's because Oriflame have changed from different to another country, haven't they, to do all their uh, monetary work. Yeah. So that's why we've had to do that, isn't it, Mike? Yeah. 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 So they so they moved from uh, Switzerland to um, the Netherlands. Okay. So, yeah. 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 Okay. That's cool. why. Okay. Cool. So um, we have a webinar on Thursday, which is the company webinar. I hope you're all going to be on there. Yeah. And also we've got a webinar next Monday, and we've got another special guest on, on Monday who's going to help us um, and chat a bit more about different things. So the two people that are on today, are, thanks again, Jane, who's a district manager underneath uh, Jackie, and Fatima, who's a district manager underneath me. So thanks again, guys. Um, and Thank I you very much. Thanks for your sharing your tips with us. Superb. And uh, I'm sure that um, you got quite a bit out of this webinar. Um, pass it along to your team. So if some of your people haven't haven't seen it, then please pass it along to your team. I uh, will record it and put it up on the walls as usual. Okay. Thank you so much, Mike. And I think I know I know this one person had to rush off to hospital to see their, their grandma tonight. And I know she's desperate, desperate to listen to all what we've been doing. She's gutted that she had to miss it. But okay, we'll, we'll, we'll text the recording as soon as we can so thanks so much for listening and i hope you've enjoyed it so it's bye from me bye from me bye from bye, bye. okay bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.